Hi, this your girl Digger, that's Gold Digger, and I'm here at the DFW Hip Hop Hipster Timeline Mixer. And with me, I have Rod Kirkpatrick, legendary producer from Dallas. What up, y'all? How's it going? Rod, could you tell me a little bit about your impact on the DFW his, um, hip hop scene in, in Dallas? Well, it's more about me just trying to come up with a good sound good sound going and reaching out to different people that I know I have a good chemistry with. You know, you got to feel people out, you got to hear them and, and see if it's a good click, you know, and once that happens, y'all get together and put it together because it's really about the chemistry. Good so people. tell me, um, how do you feel about the hip hop scene as it is and what would you do to change it? Well. It's really, I think, about organization, because there's a lot of people in this city over time just been thinking about, you know, well, if I had somebody, uh, if, if an artist needed a producer or a producer, a group needed a manager or something like that, you know, if it was more of a network, uh, tight-knit network around here, things could get happen a lot sooner. So it's really about bringing all of that together and making it happen, you know? which is a good thing for this timeline mixer this evening because a lot of people that have been, that have been feeling that same way over the years, we're all going to come together and make it happen. Everybody that knows that they can take advantage of an opportunity like this with all these people in one room, they're going to start making it happen today. So I'm excited. Which goes into my next question. What do you feel is needed to save the future of hip-hop for um, our kids, um, and the generation that's right above us, we know Dallas is known for a lot of dancing, and which is okay, but just to get back to the true essence of hip hop, I feel that's what we need to save it, but what do you feel we need to save the future of hip hop in Dallas? Well, you know, it's really about having a message in the music. Everybody can, you know, you, you've been having dance music and message music uh, for the longest now. And it's more about having a balance because, you know, you have a lot of dance stuff out now. And if you got plenty of dance stuff and no message, then you start to feel unbalanced. You know, it feels like it's all about one thing. As soon as you get tired of that, you know, then you start trying to, you start wanting to throw rocks at it. But it's not really about that. It's not really about getting mad at those artists that have, uh, that, that's getting their shine right now. It's about having a balance. So, that everybody gets a good feel, everybody finds their crowd, and everybody winds up a lot happier. Okay, that's interesting. Could you tell us what's next for Rock Kirkpatrick? What can um, the listeners or the viewers can look forward to coming from you? Um, you know, Loose Cannons is a big thing right now. Um, we got a lot of chemistry going, and we're gonna push it as far as we can go. It's gonna be a classic project. Check that out for real. Uh, and other than that, you know, down the line, I want to put together some, some different mixtapes, different uh, instrumental CDs, you know, get several of those out there. Uh, reaching out to some other artists and just really kind of seeing how everything comes together. I don't want to say too much too early, <laughs> you know, but, but I am Mr. busy Mr. reaching Mr. out and, and trying to get some things going. Okay. We'll be busy. So we're gonna wrap it up, but before we go, is there anybody you wanna shout out to, give a big ups to? You know what? Everybody that's, uh, everybody that ain't an asshole, shout out, big up, much love. And that'll wrap up our interview with Rod K.P. Kirkpatrick. Stay tuned for more from your girl Digger, peace. <laughs> I love her. It's a Kodak moment. Excellent.